following podcast contains situations, material, and or language that is not suitable for all listeners. So if you find yourself easily offended, then you probably should not be listening. The following program is brought to you by Gizop Productions. Something happens to you when you leave this town. The farther away, the hazier it all gets. But me, I never left. I remember all of it. We made an oath. I swear. If it isn't dead. If it ever comes back. We'll come back to you. We didn't stop it. Pennywise. The cloud. We can't let it happen again. podcast in podcast history. If you are easily offended, then you probably shouldn't be listening right now. <laughs> You've been warned. So with that being said, let's join our hosts, Brandon Allen, Dustin Barron, and Kevin Porter. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very, very special bonus episode of the In the Mouth of Madness. I'm Kevin Porter, along with Dustin Baird, hello. Brandon Allen. Hello, 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 hello. I'm just gonna forewarn these motherfuckers. We're just, we're just gonna lay this out, dude. We're just gonna let everybody know. Tons of spoilers coming up. Tons yes. and tons of spoilers. If you haven't seen It Part Two, I don't know what the fuck you're doing right now. Turn the fuck a podcast off and go yeah. see. Yeah, just go watch the movie and then listen to it. Yeah. So we're not doing commentary. We're just going to talk about it because we went watching yeah. theaters. We just well, it's saw a little it. different compared to what we're used to. We're not watching fucking films. We're just we're just providing some uh, some feedback or our thoughts. our professional opinion yeah. about the yeah. film itself. Well, yeah, we're just talking. Well, actually, it was a pretty good movie, so we're not going to talk too much shit. It was, it was pretty fucking one. good. Yeah, it was better than the first. I enjoyed one. it. Yeah, it was way no like, better than that part one piece of shit. It yeah. kind of made up for. All the bad shit they did with part one. Yeah, dude. there's there's no child eroticism in it, thank Christ. I thought they were going to bang Beverly at the end, though, dude. Oh, yeah, I, really I thought, thought they were going to put the gangbang in It's like, let's do an adult gangbang. Oh, no, dude, I thought it was... <laughs> let's do an adult gangbang. I thought it was going to be uh, Bev, Ben, and fucking Billy. Like, all together. Well, and, 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 and shit, dude. Yeah, dude. That's what I thought, too. Well, see, I thought they were all going to bang her, and then she would fall in love with Mike, because he's the black guy with the biggest dick. 
Yeah, he had the biggest dick. He did. 100%. He's like, oh yeah, man, I can hang myself. I with stayed it. a day. <laughs> I may, I may not be rich and famous like you guys, but I got the biggest dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> you may have got skinny, but you still got the smallest dick, you little <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that six pack doesn't mean shit. <laughs> well, yeah, so I thought it was a good movie. I had Stephen King in it. Yeah, it actually, King had a fucking Stephen great King, cameo. Yeah, he had yeah. a little cameo in it. Yep. Had done a cameo in one of his films in fucking years. And what was the last it. one he was fucking in? I don't oh, even fuck. know. Um, I know I've seen him in some shit before. Just like little parts, though. Um, I can't fucking think I talked well, about he was. He's been in a lot of stuff. Like in the 80s, he was in every single one of his fucking movies. Like it's kind of like Stan Cemetery. Lee. Yeah. Stanley, in a sense. Yeah, yeah he was in Pet Cemetery. He's Creep Show. He had a huge part in it. Um... He was in uh, fucking uh, Maximum Overdrive, which he directed. Um, he was in uh, fuck The Stand. Um, he was in um, fuck. He's a bunch of stuff. I can't name all of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a little thing too. called Google these motherfuckers out I just there. Google, oh, yeah. just Google, Google it, just, you lazy just Google fucks. It. IMDb or some shit. Yeah, right. I mean, the, the, the information is there. So let's um okay. I love that fucking redhead chick in it. Jessica Chastain. Yeah. The chick that yeah. played Beverly. Yeah, that whole fucking thing reminded me of old Savannah that I used to fucking see when I was all in love with her and shit. That's what that movie reminded me of. It felt it felt like it committed more to the book, like definitely, kind of like it was better. Yeah, it had that mysticism from the book that the first one left it out. Felt and... different, like the, it was a completely different <laughs> feeling because the first one and like we talked about this on the pod, you know, the podcast and I don't listen to me, me, me and you were on it. Um, we talked about how, like, yeah, it was just a, it's just a popcorn horror flick, dude. It's yeah, fucking yeah. Nightmare so on Elm Street Part clown, Three, clown, fucking clown, Dream Warriors, like, Get dude. the fucking clown out of there. This one, this one actually, oh, like, yeah, it, yeah, like, cause, like, I don't know, there was something about like the book and like even the miniseries I thought did a really good job in terms of like capturing was like the essence of like them as a group, <clears throat> you know, them as friends, like embrace. I don't know, like you could just see it. I don't know, and um, just with this. You know, part two, man, is like it really like it gave us the scenes as a kid that we that the first one needed. Yep. Well, I tell you, every everything that the first one fucked up on, they fucking redid and they made it good. Well, I they made I, up for it. I felt bad for Mike at first because he was kind of like you know all desperate to kind of get everybody you know over there, um, over you know back to Derry and all that shit. That he gets everybody together. Then when he starts talking about like, hey, Ripper, the fucking pack, promise you fucking made and all that shit, and they all freaks the fuck out. But Mike was just kind of like, come on, man, fuck, dude, you gotta believe me, you gotta believe me. Oh, oh, oh check it out. And I'm just like, what the fuck is up with that goddamn lampshade? And a bunch of like, fucking Indian shit. <laughs> is he huffing fucking paint out of that shit? Is that why he's freaking the fuck you know, out? No, he's fucking eating fucking. Uh... <laughs> Ayahuasca root out of that shit. <laughs> it's like, you, you gotta got, believe me. You, 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 you kind of got a drug problem. Like, <laughs> step back a little bit. No, dude, like, it was, um, but, like, I, if you think about his, like, the, the way his character was supposed to go in that sense is, like, you know, he's, like, had to live with that for 27 years, right? They've been able to go away and forget about it. And well, it's good. He, he's, he's, like, Derry probably with, like, had the a best mental crack. breakdown at yeah. this point, you know? Yeah, Derry probably had the best crack. <laughs> So he it's fucking all, never moved out. He's all smoking out of there. Well, it's man, crazy. I, live, crack man, I, 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 live, I live in the attic of the library. And I smoke some meat. Yeah. He's some rock yeah. cocaine. He, he was a fucking crack baby, dude. I'm, I'm a rock <laughs> cocaine addict. My name's Mike, and I'm a cocaine addict. I used to go to a treatment, and there's a fucking crackhead fucking idiot in there, and he'd be like, Yeah, my name's blah, 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 and I'm a cocaine addict. And one day this guy was like, man, you're a fucking crackhead. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta go to, you gotta, you're a fucking crackhead. (laughs) And I was like, damn. These are the guys who taught me how to be a man. (laughs) That's how you learn to be a man. But it's it's, it's good though. It's, it's, I don't know. it, It is about like people trying to come to terms with the past to become adults, to, kind of gain what they've been missing their whole fucking life you know what I mean it dealt with a lot of yeah. fear like they actually the fear like in like you know Pennywise actually went after that it felt like you know yeah, the, oh, yeah. fear, like, the vulnerability and, and stuff yeah. and, like, the, the pussiness yeah. of the kids which the first one completely did not have that feeling whatsoever no. it was just like oh I'm a you know I'm gonna come out of the fucking projector I, I, I see the clown oh I saw the clown too oh <laughs> god well let's all be clown friends <laughs> look it's a it's it's the clown again, and it never had any. No wonder why they're fucking losers. Well, the, the, the right? one thing, yeah, dude. The one thing. Well, um, what I really liked in the movie is the beginning, 
where mm. they go back and they and they do the um, the Adrian uh, Melon Melon fucking story, and they do it beat for fucking beat. They did it. They, beat for beat. Yeah. There was a lot of moments in the in the movie where it was beat for beat from the book, dude. Yeah. Like, like and then the whole time they're trashing Stephen King for endings, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like literally they like they, 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 they were calling ending. out the first one like just I don't know, man, because like it wasn't like the first film it like as a movie itself like it wasn't really a, a, film, a it wasn't that catchphrase. Bad. I don't like, want to say catchphrase, but it's like, like float, you float. It's like oh, that's our catchphrase, guys. It's like that was created in like some like shitty ass fucking marketing you know meeting. Like hey, guys. You know, we're just gonna fucking plant this everywhere throughout the United States. Yeah, and they're getting their market. Like it's on t-shirts and shit. Float, float. It's like that wasn't really referenced too much. It, like it, that was because it was always referenced in the book, but it wasn't like you weren't beaten over the fucking head with it. Yeah, yeah. and that well, that, it was it was a gimmicky fucking film, and I you could tell that the studio the studio had more influence on the first one. It's like, <laughs> we want to see this, 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 and we this. We want to see Freddy Krueger with Pennywise. Yeah, but then the the director. Must have had more control on this one because it was more into the mysticism. It was more mature. It was darker. It's it's what yep. we deserved as a fucking like as fans as of that fucking, book. Yeah, and like that's what we deserved as a fucking feature length film. Yeah, and they got that done in like three hours, dude. Yep, they only needed the one movie for that. Yeah, <laughs> and it was it was good though. It was really I like good. the. Um, it was really good. It's pretty funny because it's I like, like the, the it's thing. It's uh, the, the part where Stan's oh, head turns into the thing. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. And it comes and the head falls off and it starts spouting the spider legs and he's like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. It's like, oh, that's from the thing. Dude, yeah, totally. It was a fucking thing reference. And then they had well, the... not necessarily, but I mean, it's it's funny because I don't know if somebody intentionally fucking did that or they're like, oh, fuck, that, we got that from the thing, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they did. Have you guys seen this movie called The Thing? <laughs> yeah, dude, they got this like fucking... That's like almost verbatim. Well, they probably had fucking... Eddie was probably afraid of the afraid of the movie the thing and so they made him fucking adult eddie was awesome oh dude yeah he was i like i liked the only actor i didn't like was um grown-up ben i don't like hot ben i think he's a pretty boy and i don't think he can act well i thought when they introduced Just called him. out fucking skinny boy pretty ben yeah, i thought uh when fuck they that first that introduced him i thought it was actually pretty fucking funny because they, they show man. that that part Tates. where there's this fat guy in that office or that conference room, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's Ben. Oh, I guess he never lost any weight. But then he's like the fancy fucking well, knew, hot looking guy. Yeah, I knew I knew he was hot. It I was, was like, in the book, oh, I mean, yeah. you know, he's a they, hot cowboy kind of guy. In the miniseries, yeah. was it fucking John Ritter? John Ritter. <laughs> yeah, John Ritter. I kept trying to think of that fucking actor's name there. I was like, fuck it. I know it's Ritter, but well, what's his fucking dude, that was, name? Dude, that was, I like that. I like the part where, where he goes back to the school. And he's about, like, you know, and he's like, because you knew right away because you saw the shadow, it, it was Pennywise. Oh, yeah. So you knew it was. But then, like, Bev all sits down, and he, you know, and she all, like, turns on the fire and shit. He's all hiding in the fucking locker room, or in the locker. And then, like, he comes out, and he's like, kiss me, fat boy. It's like, ah, it's <laughs> That's an ode the fucking the miniseries. miniseries. <laughs> it's an ode to the miniseries. Like, I love, that was beautiful, dude. Oh, man. There's so many laughs in it, dude. Like, I thought, yeah. fucking Bill Hader, like, that's the one thing I did see is, like, Headlines, I think like Eddie Bill Hader was funnier stole... than fucking Bill Hader. I don't know. I thought he did a good job. He did yeah. a good job. Eddie was pretty funny. He... Eddie was a little asshole, dude. Yeah, he yeah. was the funny one to me. I liked him. Well, so they they brought like I don't know, dude. They just they they basically gave us the film that we should have got fucking two years ago. Dude. Well, Eddie Eddie died in the book, right? Yeah, Eddie died in the book. Cause he got speared by mm-hmm. the fucking uh, spider, right? And in in the book, and I I mean they kind of do it in the miniseries. Um, but yeah, he does get speared though. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the, in the, well, cause like the, the power scene when fucking Eddie fucking comes out and like, oh, oh and he fucking stabs him through the fucking Dude, cheek. yeah, that was the shit. Oh, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the whole Henry Bowers part I thought was really well done. Like instead, I, I mean, in the book it was Belch and the miniseries. Oh yeah, was but it was the other But friend. like in, in the, in the first movie, they don't show it, but in the in the deleted scenes, he kills fucking Belch and Victor Chris in the fucking first film. Oh no shit! Yeah, but that that got cut, so it wasn't in this film. So that's why they had Hawkstutter, oh, which so I thought that was had. cool because like I don't know, I I really enjoyed that that part, dude. No, well, I'm kind of glad yeah. they didn't go into the Hawkstutter backstory from the book. Where he like Jack Well, they didn't touch dollars. any of that, dude. I mean, the g- kitty gangbang. If it was fucking Bernardo Bertolucci, he'd be like, oh, yeah, we're going to show him jerking each other off. And... I know, because he straight up, like, yeah, straight up jerks him off in that fucking <laughs> He gets eaten by fucking <laughs> leeches. 
<laughs> yeah, because, yeah, Henry Bowers is like, I'm not a fucking faggot. <laughs> and he takes <laughs> off and shit, dude. And then, yeah, he's like, because he, in the, in the book, they kept, uh, they kept the, uh, well, he kept his, like, dead, because he killed animals, remember? Because, like, in the book, they talk about him, like, killing his, his brother and shit, remember? Hawkstetter? Yeah. Hawkstetter got jealous of, like, his fucking brother because it was a new baby boy or whatever, and he fucking oh, killed yeah, him. I do and then he that. started killing because he liked the you know he liked the fucking feeling or whatever. He's a fucking psycho, and uh, he started killing animals and shit. And then he was huh. hiding them in the in the fridge, and that's where he opens it up and Bev's in the fucking bushes because Bev watches him fucking jerk off fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and so then Bev fucking sees the leeches come out and fucking nail Patrick Hawkstetter, and that's how he dies. And then like she sees like Pennywise drags him off. And then they come back later as a group in the book, in the Barons, and they, they open the fucking thing, uh, the the fridge, and that's when, like, fucking just, you know, shit fucking, like, I think, like, a bunch of balloons or some shit, like, a bunch of fucking, you know, shit happens, and then, like, it's written in blood, like, you will die or something. It's not, or it's, I forget, it's a, it's a pretty significant fucking saying it, that, what it says, but I forget exactly what it was, at that, like, Pennywise lives or some shit, I don't know. But it's fucking, dude, like, this movie got the like it really was a lot truer to the book. No, I, yeah, what I thought. Like opening, I really thought they were. I, honestly, I thought especially we were the it. opening where he drags him out of the thing and fucking takes a bite out of his arm. That was hand. right out of the book. And then fucking looks yeah. up and sees all thousands of fucking balloons coming down. It it's right like out ooh. Of the book. Right yeah, I was like, they fucking nailed I that. I love the I Heart could, Dairy. Yeah, the I Heart Dairy thing, and the guy's like, fucking figgy, and fucking beats that throws off the bridge. Yeah, I never read the book. That's it, no, that scene played out. Brad exactly and I were talking about read. that afterwards, like, or, in the fucking bathroom, and Brad was like, yeah, dude, it's in the book. I'm like, oh, fuck. I didn't know there was... There was a lot okay. of shit in the book, dude. And, like, I really... One thing I'll comment on is, like, the, the townhouse. In my mind, like, that... Because I remember on the, on the, pod, the podcast that we did, like... I said that Neibolt Street didn't like it wasn't what I imagined it in my in my head and the way it was described. It was, it was like it was like kind of that over the top Hollywood fucking you know scary house scare or whatever. And um, I thought the townhouse though that they were in like that kind of fit like an old timey because the way they described it it's like an old timey fucking you know hotel or whatever. Which town? Oh, the, the, oh dairy, the... the dairy townhouse that they stayed in. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 So like I don't know. I thought that they did a really good job. With the whole time it reminded me of fucking that Irish pub place that's just down the road. Oh, McGuire's? Yeah. Well, there was one yeah. part of that fucking movie, like, that made me think of a video game. And they were in the fucking the Chinese restaurant shit, and the fucking fortune cookies had all those creatures and whatnot. That shit was bad. Remember the dude. fucking the baby face that was, like, on that fucking bee or whatever? Or whatever? Yeah. That fucking, that made me immediately <laughs> think of fucking the game Seaman for fucking Sega Dreamcast. Where it's got like a fucking head and it's on a fish's body. I know it's. I, I know it. I'm just like, what about. the fuck? Yeah. I couldn't fucking think of it in the theater. It kind of right? did look like that, dude. Yeah. The whole time, like, holy is that fuck? that thing that was on? Uh, it was on. Egg, it yeah, it's it's Avery, 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 Avery. yeah, you'd like talk to it and shit, and it's all like, bleh, 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 bleh. I'm a fucking head on a fish or whatever. And you got even yeah. on a frog. Yeah. You had to like take care of it for days and yeah. shit. Yeah, but I mean, in this movie, it was like on a fucking like bee's body or spider body or some shit, and just had a baby face just crying and shit. I'm like. I'm thinking of Sega Dreamcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that scene, dude? I really liked how like they rolled back and like they didn't remember right away because that like re- that was like something that they 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 did really you know that was like really prominent in the book. You know, it was like the memory was coming back to them. And, yeah. Like, you know, they 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 didn't remember everything at once and stuff and like you know him coming out and puking like that's in the book, dude. Like you know, and they and they got it in the miniseries obviously too, but the, you know. It wasn't um, quite as good. Yeah, but I, you know, and him going Harry on Anderson's stage not like a that. Very good actor. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, did he die? He died like a year, like two years ago, a year ago. Yeah. Well, he's a good magician. Yeah. He used to eat cigarettes. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Fuck. Fuck Harry Anderson. The, like the fucking the way they built up the fear. Like you could really feel like they were scared. Like this oh, yeah. really was a traumatizing. Because I didn't really feel that. I think it was. I think. Film, dude. I think. Like I think the Chinese scared. restaurant yeah. thing was. I was pretty hyperbolic actually. I don't know, I kind of like it, though, because I was thinking, I was watching, I was I like, liked it. this is really over the top, the, the, I was like, well, I probably would have done that was that fear fucking, coming back, dude, like, I, would, I was probably like, would have done the same fucking but thing. But the, <laughs> thing is, the thing with it is, though, like, when they, were, when they were in that Chinese restaurant, fucking, like, you know, it kind of, in a sense, it, it kind of dread, and I was like, dude, some someone's from the restaurant's gonna be like, dude, you're fucking crazy, and then, yeah, it shows, like, Mike fucking just... Slamming the chair on the <laughs> table with like nothing on it. It's like, this is not real. It's not like, real. Uh, is everything okay? 
Oh wait, no, it's uh the hero, is everything okay? God, I've been smoking <laughs> crack all fucking night! <laughs> PCP, bitch! <laughs> Sorry man, we came here, you know, this is an intervention. We just thought we'd get some Chinese food, get him on some drugs, but he so freaked was, out. He so freaked was out. was Richie Richie was he so he was gay? Yeah. Yeah, he he liked Eddie. Like he loved Eddie. Oh. Yeah. I thought I kind of like that honestly. I didn't really hate that. I didn't really hate that. I kind of like that. Yeah, huh? I guess. Teach their own. It makes sense now, like with him, like how it just really hurt him when he fucking he, he didn't want to leave him in the fucking. I didn't think he was anything. a fag, but yeah. Like, well, you got a problem with fags, does? Yeah, does. <laughs> well, talk with... talk to the two in the very so beginning you... of the movie. You... They had a big problem with fags. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, come on. <laughs> can't be derogatory like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, no, we love gay people on, in the Mouth of Madness. No, I, I, I did like that part, though. I liked at the ending when he went and finished off the, the carving and shit, and he became an adult, like you said, like, because they all had to overcome something to, like, get them to that, to become... He had to admit that, like, Ben had to admit that he was in love with Beverly, and she had to realize that, that yeah. it was Ben the whole time, not Bill, and Bill had yeah. to... Face. Not think about cheating on his wife. Well, what the hell? What, what the hell did Bill learn? What the hell? Did, oh, Bill had to learn that not everything it wasn't was his, his fault. fault. Yeah, it He's quit being a fault. bitch and fucking blaming everything on him on himself. And to relearn how to ride a bike. And uh, relearn how to ride a bike. Yeah. Mike had to fucking leave. <laughs> Mike had to give up the crack. I'm moving on to so bigger, man, better drugs. Man, I'm putting that crack pipe down. I'm going with downers. Now I'm going to start slamming some heroin. Some yeah. black tar. He was start going, doing some black tar heroin. He's going to become a pimp. <laughs> fucking L.A. or something. He was, he was going down to Florida to hang out with the dude from The Shining. <laughs> DeCalorin? Yeah. How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? Yo, I heard there was this black guy giving out ice cream. <laughs> Good shit. I like that. I like that too at the end because they couldn't, you know, they couldn't say the n word obviously in the movie. I mean, that's, you know, something that was like something from the eighties. Well, they yeah. could. Well, I mean, they could, but they didn't. Um, but like the one racist part where like Henry Bowers is about ready to stab down on Mike, he's like something about fried chicken. And he's about to say chicken, and it's like it, that's when oh, Richie yeah. fucking hit him. Yep. Oh, with the hatchet. Yeah. 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 And he's he just like, like fried chicken. Ah. <laughs> and just gets nailed. Uh, who, who's who is it that did the mullet line? Is like the fucking mullet. No, that was Eddie. Eddie. That, was that was Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. It's like that was thirty years ago, motherfucker. That Cut it a, off. <laughs> that was the best line in the whole oh, man. fucking movie. I know DL has that fucking just like he's fuck, got that fucking dude. stab with his fucking cheek. Him stabbed, dude, was fucked up, dude. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. No, dude. not at all. Especially like, like there. There was a couple. Places. Yeah, like there was a good couple times where I was like fucking caught like off guard. I was like, whoa, like. Especially I thought towards I was... the end with the Pennywise popping out. Like, they did a good job of, like... Because, like, uh, in the first one, it was, like, you know, again, like, that Hollywood fucking popcorn film. So it was, like, you kind of had, like, you know, the, the, the music intensifies. This, yeah, this, with this, the this, little kid. Th- yeah. Little but kid they, they, I mean, they, they did jump scares with this, but it wasn't, like... It wasn't so... Like, some of them were obvious, but, like, some of them weren't so obvious, and he just kind of just pops out. And, well, like, I'm always a like, sucker oh. for jump scares. Yeah. I got I got caught, like, two or three times. Yeah, I did, too. Yeah. Like, in the, when, she, when Beverly was in her old house... Oh, with that old crazy did, bitch. Yeah, I, I actually really liked that scene. I thought it was really powerful because um, which one? The scene with the fucking scene, old naked bitch. No, oh. the, the scene where she's in her <laughs> that house. Was scary. Her that was That was really scary. Oh, I, I that like, was scary. Because I, I really like how they insinuated the sexual abuse because it didn't show her getting raped. He he just kind of sprays perfume on her, and then gives her a hug, and you're like, oh, he you already fucked. know what the fuck's yeah, up. You're like, oh, and then they cut to her, and it's like. She's kind of, she's like there remembering it. I was waiting for the fucking tea turn to blood, like in the fucking yeah. movie. I was like, I'm, I'm oh, the tea looks kind of gray. Well, tea doesn't she gray. fucking drink the tea in the book? And it's like sewer water or yeah, something. It's like, it's like sewage shit, water. It's like fucking shit, yeah. shit and piss. It's like, <laughs> yeah. That's that part like really scared me. Like when she was like in the background and she did that like dance, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, like, that's fucking. Yeah, it was like, fucking, it was like a fucking twitch. Scared. It was like a twitch dance yeah. or some shit. Yeah. See that's scary shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was some like real in the scary background shit. of dark, where like the body was just like defined from the fucking foreground and shit, just twitch dancing, just like ugh, crazy bitch. Like, now what was up? Now what was up with them showing Pennywise without all his makeup on? What's up with that? Oh part? yeah, I wondered that. Well, too. in the book, 
she when she goes back like she she doesn't see a picture or anything like like they showed in the movie uh-huh. but what she sees is like a chest and it says Bob Gray because like they didn't, yeah. they don't make reference within the movie really of Bob Gray or anything yeah. but that's Pennywise's like human name or some shit and he's always identified as that and like so that's what she sees and then she starts like so who is yeah. Bob uh, remind me who Bob Gray it was Bob Gray like eaten by the fucking by the ultimate evil or something or what the fuck I don't you... know that's just like that's just an alternate ego name like no dude Bob Gray name. Bob Gray yeah. was one of those fucking Native Americans that Mike was hanging out with <laughs> ah. <laughs> no Bob Gray no, 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 no. I mean, that's, that's Pennywise <laughs> Well, I like that. Yeah. So what? What? I mean, what was up with that? With the mysticism we're, we're showing him without the makeup. I don't know. You know, it didn't make any sense to me. I was, I was like, okay, so where does Bob Gray? Where does this Pennywise the clown thing come from? Did the did this creature like? Cause, Maybe. Okay, so it 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 in the book is established as being an extra dimensional, interdimensional, mm-hmm. extraterrestrial being from outside of time and space. His opposite is a fucking turtle, which is pure good. And then there's this thing that's like crazy. They come from this light, this bright light. It's like pure energy, pure negative energy. Maybe at some point. And then they point. come back through time and space to Earth and this form of a meteor and crashes in this place with dinosaurs. And then several million years later, turns into a clown man. He adapts, dude. I mean, that like, you know... It wasn't so like, like what, yeah. but what was the point of that though? I mean, just to I think what children happened, to eat or something. What yeah. happened was uh, at some so. point in time, um, it probably came in contact with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arnold Schwarzenegger was, was just like, "You gotta get that fucking makeup off your face." Take <laughs> 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 that fucking makeup off and, your and face. And he, so he's like doing it. And he's like, "Oh yeah, fuck! I gotta scare Barb or <laughs> Beverly." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so Beverly just caught him at a bad time when he had his makeup off. Wow. So you had to put it back on. Because he's all embarrassed by fucking Arnold. So maybe, uh, <laughs> what I was thinking is maybe that the clown itself was actually like a human being at one point and then it got eaten by the fucking entity. Like the entity fed on it. Kind of like the thing where it absorbs and like... Yeah, yeah. kind of like Benny's. How yeah. it's getting fucked by the yeah. thing. Yep. Because like this big that was giant... Well, who's getting Wait, fucked what? by the thing? That was hard. When Bennings was getting fucked by the thing. Oh, yeah. It was coming, dick was coming out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I thought the most disgusting part of the movie, though, um, was towards the end when Ben and Beverly are making out under that fucking shit, piss filled fucking water. Because you know when they're making out in that fucking water, they're sw- oh, the they quarry? have to swallow all that fucking shit, piss, probably some common. Yeah, there's no way you're opening your eyes and you could see that clear in there. I was like, nah, that's such a grainy yeah. view of you. But, but I mean, you know, but they open their mouths, they get their tongues in each other's fucking mouths. So they're, so they're having to be like, oh. They, they swallowed, you know, somebody else's fucking piss of shit. I'm like, well, dude, that's fucking true love, quarry, dude. For though. true love, you'll do anything. But why is there piss of oh, shit God. in the quarry? Who, He's just who, assuming. Who would oh, not? yeah, I guess. Who, who doesn't shit in a fucking quarry? Fuck it. <laughs> They're probably just fucking swallowed a turd. They're probably into that. They're so what are you going boat. down to the quarry for? <laughs> Take a shit? Well, there's a deleted scene at the, at the end where they're on the boat in the, in the epilogue of the film, and they're on the boat. And then it's like, oh, it's such a beautiful day out. You know, we're, I had a good, a pleasant dream last night. And he's like, yeah, I know, you, me too. And he goes, she goes, yeah, do a Cleveland steamer right on my fucking chest. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And she's like, that's what I've been fucking waiting for. So we put Come a on, fucking ben. nice warm shit right on my chest. He's got like a fucking bag of Taco Bell right there. He's like, I'm ready already. <laughs> <laughs> get, let me get some fucking hot sauce. Fucking sprays diarrhea right in her fucking face. I thought you never ask. <laughs> oh. I'll give you a fucking face mask. So you fucking make your skin look younger again. <laughs> Open your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the smell. I can never get over the smell. <laughs> oh yeah, then the part when she's all stuck in the fucking bathroom and fills up with fucking blood. And mm. then she rejoins the whole group. Like I was always like kind of thinking to myself, someone's got to be like, God damn, baby, you smell like fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> smell like rotten pussy. <laughs> Did you smell like period blood? <laughs> Damn, who's cooking fucking that fish sticks I thought here? that scene was pretty fucking cool, dude. Like, when they, oh, yeah. I don't know. I was disappointed because everybody's like, oh, it's the most blood used in any movie ever. It's like, that was it? Like, yeah. I think Stanley Kubrick utilized it a little bit better. Yeah. Well, it was a, little, it was a lot more action in terms of him because it was over the release. And like that was just kind of like, oh, we're just going to fill it up, fill and it up. That's getting covered in shit. <laughs> 
Oh no! I like that scene. I like that scene though. And like when Pennywise was taunting him, that was another thing. Like that felt more close to the closer to the book than what they did in this movie. Like the taunting was like more like psychological and yeah. shit. It was like really mm. getting deep into their fucking like fears and you know it's like oh man I could really feel that in the movie. Yeah, and it was it was more like the book. It was more realistic. I don't know. I just liked it a hell of a lot better. Oh yeah, then you had that external victim like outside that group of friends that little kid those two little kids that got killed dude. i mean that was something oh yeah that's right there was two was missing of them. like no one got killed really yeah you didn't see it and yeah. this was like two kids got killed like yeah. random kids that you don't know who the fuck that are. fucking little kid that was off. right out of the book too dude the kid with the skateboard because he he goes back through his neighborhood in the book and he finds a kid with the skateboard that was like right out. oh of the book yeah too. it's like dude sometimes you just gotta get on your fucking skateboard and ride man mm-hmm. and it's like kid with some kid with a skateboard yeah and like he he wants to because like in the book he wants to say something to the kid like hey don't you know stay away from the drains da, 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 da. like there wasn't like uh as much communication as there was in this one i mean because they did you know that was a little bit of a change of him going to the like the the dairy like you know fair and shit and like and that was cool i liked it i i thought it was pretty good i thought bill was gonna get arrested a couple of times because of that little fuck um, so what you leave that little well, kid Richie, alone? You well, little Richie, kids? Richie at the fucking uh, oh yeah, the, in the, the, the restaurant. Chinese restaurant. That was fucking hilarious. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan, dude. <laughs> Do you want a picture? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Right. No, but like the the so when Bill like fucking goes to that fucking grate where fucking his little brother died, like you know he's like yelling at it. Like I'm waiting for that resident to come. Like what the fuck are you yelling? That was <laughs> that was really fucking emotional though. That scene yeah. really got me. Anytime they did anything with Bill, dude, I don't know why, but like that one, like any, like I, I could like he slammed his fucking hands on the pavement, dude. Like I could feel the pain, dude. Yeah, I could have put like put myself in that fucking situation. Well, they got a, they got a good actor to play. Yeah, that. it was good. It was really good. Any like and then what, the like, what the, happened to Bill at the end of the movie? I can't remember. Well, he was in the basement, and like he was he was, he was in Pennywise's position from the first film. And no, then, no. What was he do? What happened to him after, after everything? At the very end, what was he? Oh, doing? he was writing a book. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's he, right. He was writing his new book. That, that reminded me uh, straight out of. I fucking, divorced uh, my fucking piece of shit fucking horror wife. That fucking sucked Peter Bogdanovich's dick. That, <laughs> which that, is uh, before you do anything. I think the best, the biggest surprise for me was Peter Bogdanovich fucking showing up. It's like, yes, if you're going to have a director in your fucking movie, might as well get that loser piece of shit old man on that fucking shit. Fuck you, Peter Bogdanovich. Well, what, what I was going to say was uh, when they showed Bill fucking finishing up or doing whatever, writing his fucking book or whatever, that totally reminded me of um, uh, Stand By Me. Like, it ends just like that. Yeah. If you remember that movie. Yeah, I remember. Well, or, you know, he's got a big fancy fucking office. You know, he's also typing on a computer. Well, Stand By Me is, is just him writing that fucking story. Well, yeah, but so I'm, talking about the very, way. I'm talking about the way it was filmed, though, at the very end. Like, it reminded me of just like that. Yeah. Oh, well, all, all Stephen King writers. That's Yeah, that's Stephen King, dude. Like, well, know. he says that it's he, Peter Straub. He always Straub, has a writer. Though. He says that Stephen King says that Bill is based on Peter Strom. Uh, who's uh, a good friend of his. They wrote uh, Black House together and um, The Talisman. Yeah. And Peter Straub's written like Floating Dragon, a few other books. Uh, I can't think of any. Uh, it's good shit. He's a good author. Well, the second time I thought Bill was going to get arrested for sure was when he chased that fucking kid in that goddamn carnival. You know, he, he skipped the ticket man or whatever to get in that fucking weird crazy clown. Whatever the fuck you call it with the goddamn mirrors and shit. You know, they saw Fun one house. kid go in, they saw an adult going crazy going in, <laughs> and then fucking, obviously in there, hey, the only one that came back out was the fucking adult. <laughs> like, what happened to that kid? <laughs> yeah. Oh, a fucking, a clown fucking ate it. Oh, okay, crazy, you're coming with us. <laughs> you're going well, to big boy jail now. No, I mean, I think, I like in this one how it showed how it had control over every single fucking person in the town. Yeah. Yep. It was like, you know, you could be out in public doing whatever, and it could just show up and just be like, hey, I'm going to fucking eat you. And all the people start dancing. That's exactly how it was. Like, too. <laughs> oh, like uh, yeah. when, when yeah. Richie was having a fucking deal yeah. with shit. That was amazing. That dude, was yeah. That, 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 I think cool. I was more freaked out about the people in the background, like just standing there not doing shit yeah. when all that shit's going on. I Paul Bonnie comes to fucking life. 
That I looked was, cool, but like I said, like when people were just standing there, like in the background, not doing shit when all this stuff was going, that kind of freaked me out. Probably more than all the crazy shit yeah. between him and Paul Bunyan and whatnot. Well, the Paul Bunyan thing straight from the book. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a fucking that was that was pretty fucking awesome. It, it looked he's getting like chased by yeah, he's getting chased by Henry Bowers and shit. And, and then there's, and Henry Bowers, dude, in the fucking mental institution, just fucking jumping up and down like a fucking monkey and everything. Yeah. I like the part where he fucking kills the thing and walks off and he's all badass and she's like, fuck yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, fuck yeah. Huh. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, that was pretty yeah. cool. No, I thought I thought that, yeah, man, just like that scene with like him on the balloons coming through with like the, the band in the background. I like how the, the, the color changed and everything too. Yeah, the color yeah. change is cool. Yeah, because, like, it just, I really enjoyed the fact that, yeah, he really fucked with them, dude. Like, he really fucked with them. He's like, oh, you're dirty little sack. Oh, dude. Oh, the like, best, best you part knew, of the you best knew part it was, movie. like, yeah. the fucking, the door scene, dude. Which one? Not scary at all. Scary. Very uh, scary. Well, that was funny. That was, I mean, that was all that was... from the, the first one and shit. Yeah. You know? Which was cool. I mean, I didn't, you know, because there were some, like, things, especially with the way it ended with them jumping back off the thing and, like, you know, into the rock quarry or whatever. Like, I, I... You know, because it's, again, to say, like, the first one wasn't, like, the worst film I've ever fucking seen. There are elements of that I did enjoy, but, you know. It could have been better. It could have been yeah. a lot better. But, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, they had to keep some from what they've already established and whatnot. And... You got to hear more uh, new kids on the block. <laughs> yeah. But I liked, um, my favorite part of the movie is where Eddie's in the fucking thing and the fucking, the leopard come and he's, like, fucking choking the oh, leopard. yeah. Rock. And it fucking just spits fucking vomit in his fucking face. Yep. And there's like some like old school music or whatever like playing in the background. Yeah, that was the best fucking scene in the entire fucking movie is when he's getting that shit all over mm-hmm. his fucking... I just love that. I fucking love that. When they that. tore the cover off of it, off that fucking leopard thing, like the first thing I thought of was, that's what make it hot, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Let's make your dick hot. <laughs> I know, it's at the end, dude. We were sitting there and fucking... Yeah, when he got fucking impaled, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he's making you harder." <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's really getting up there. Eddie. <laughs> Some fucking holy penetration in that shit. <laughs> Does that feel good, Eddie? <laughs> Eddie. Um, I know it feels good for me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, dude. Oh, no, I, uh, I, I. This one was just way better. Like they basically just corrected all their mistakes. From the first film two oh, years yeah. ago, dude. Like, and just completely, I, I, you know, without obviously we haven't read reviews or anything, we haven't like really heard the the public opinion of this. Yeah, we, as nope. of yet. Um, it just came out today, it, didn't it? Yeah, it just came out today. Um, it was really good though. Like, it was fucking. I don't know, man. It was I, way I better it. than what we were anticipating. It too. was like you know a three hour film. Yeah, just about. It's worth it. I'd suggest going to see it. It's a good movie, and like I, I like all the good stuff in it. Um, um, what else happened in it that was really Don't cool. fucking eat hot dogs with too much ketchup and jalapenos because I fucking choked on that in the middle of the <laughs> I thought we were going to have to give you the fucking Heimlich maneuver, dude. No, it was it was like the fumes coming from like the, the ketchup and the fucking jalapenos. I was like, oh, oh. I was like inhaling that shit. This thing is going to have to come out your ass, dude. No, I wasn't. Your, your ass is going to burn now. Oh, dude. Is that ketchup? It's not blood, don't worry. It's just ketchup. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's worth the FAS, the fire ass syndrome. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, that, um... Oh, my God, I'm trying to think of another good part in the movie. You get a little closer. Oh, yeah, I should probably get closer, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out another new good part in the fucking movie. Yeah. Uh, what was that fucking shit? Um, I like how they didn't have that stupid clown box like they did in the first one. That shit was fucking the way he dump, pops out of the fucking coffin. Yeah. That was fucking oh, stupid as shit. It's like, there was like, oh, Ricky's <laughs> dead. Like, what's this even mean? Like, it meant nothing. Yeah. I did, though. He had like, that fucking flyer, though, for his funeral or that, some well, shit. Well, that, that's in the book. Mm. That is, like, not necessarily the, the flyer, like, the funeral flyer, but right. like, there is, like, a part where he does see, like, something about his death. Yeah, it's, uh... It's like, the, come like see the, the amazing concert, right? It had, like, all the dead fucking rock and roll stars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, like the Richie Tozer fucking, or like, yeah, like, memorial concert or something. Um, I need to reread that book, dude. Yeah, like, I want to read the fucking book. I have the audio book, dude. I, I have the audio book, and I, like, 
and my whole plan is to like sit, you know, sit down with the book in hand and like follow along, like you know, a teacher's reading it to me or oh, some yeah. shit. I I don't know, but like, yeah. I just think I'm gonna take the book and just read it. Yeah, I think I need to reread that shit. The part when Richie goes to the Jew temple to remember Stanley, that was heartwarming. Yeah, yeah, Stanley killing himself. What What do you guys think? I I I Man. yeah. Fucking evil. did he Man. write it on the fucking wall? I when they showed, that when they showed shot, the when they showed the wide shot with uh, Beverly, yeah, getting the uh, psychic vision of it, it's in the background. You did see it, yeah. Well, because it was like just a split second. I didn't have time to like in my for my eyes to go up, and I was like, "Oh shit, did I miss that?" Like, so it was there. Yeah. Okay. I looked specifically because I was like, "Oh, okay." That's. Weird. I was just like, "Yeah, that's a dead Jew." Shit. <laughs> Fuck, it. <laughs> Fuck it. He deserves it. Just for being Jewish. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I didn't say like, that. <laughs> he write. He wrote the note to all of them at the end. I mean, because at the, the the way the movie ends after they've killed it and all that shit, and they're all home. Is that uh, fucking Stanley's? Which the names of all the the husbands and wives and all that shit was all true to the book. Eddie having a fat wife is true to the fucking yep. book. That was pretty funny. You know, yep. like um, like Patty Yearis fucking sends him the uh, sends him the the letters and stuff. It stands like this isn't a suicide note. I just you know I thought I figured spiritually wise we you, you guys would be stronger without me there. You know, you know, because I knew I'd fucking bring you guys down. It's like. Ah. Uh, like, <laughs> fucking pussy. Yeah, I don't know, Kill dude. yourself. Just fucking. Oh wait, you already did. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Like, there's the fucking. There's the fucking thing right there. He just. It was just talking. About, Does it make you hot, Eddie? Yeah. What's it, Eddie? Does it make you water? <laughs> oh, uh, dude, the fucking. Uh, when Eddie freaks the fuck out after like his mom's all being tortured by whatever. That fucking, that bitch chick, uh, that daughter, that runs right Yeah, like, she's all old. Like, you gotta fucking push, you dumbass. <laughs> when he's trying to get out of the fucking doorway and shit. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're still an ugly cunt. And, the, yeah, the, Mr. Keen, <laughs> the, way, the way, they, you know, having him come back, I like that. Like, he's all fucking old and shit, dude. He's all fucked up looking. Yeah, he looked all fucked <laughs> up, dude. Let's go go fucking in. You look like Lois Lane. <laughs> Hi, man. That's children. We're gonna build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, sir? We're gonna build a wall. You racist piece of shit. <laughs> Mega country. <laughs> fucking Mike Wall goes in there. He's like, uh, hey, dude. He's like, we're gonna get a wall to keep you fuckers out. <laughs> Mike's like, dude, I'm, I'm black. I'm not Mexican. <laughs> oh. We're still gonna keep you fuckers out. <laughs> Um, fucking asshole! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was, dude. It was a really good movie. It was yeah. a really good movie. Like I think I'd fucking buy it when it comes out. I think. I think also we should talk about. We should have fucking start the podcast with this, but like we kind of had to go on a little bit of an adventure tonight, even just to see this film. Oh, oh yeah. we had to go to fucking sunny side. Teach- God damn it, fucking! You make you gotta set the story up. We fucking well, it's a bullshit story. No, 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 no. We Kevin, went to go Kevin. get tickets and we didn't fucking have them, so we had to go out to fucking Sunnyside. Yeah, so we took a road trip. It was almost like and, a race story, except and we didn't break down. Yeah, which we all we were went like to fucking Liberty State, deep in the heart of <laughs> yeah. Liberty State, <laughs> deep deep in the heart of fucking cow shit. It smelled like garbage going in there. Oh yeah, but well, if you smoke in your car. You don't smell the shit smell. That's what I've noticed because I have to drive back and forth fucking yeah, here yeah, and there. Yeah, all the time. I'll smoke cigarettes then and just, just whenever start smoking I drive. cigarettes. Or just let people yeah. smoke in your car, Kevin. Then fucking. Yeah, I should do that. I should be a nice person and let people just smoke in my car. <laughs> you really should have. I was like, kind of pissed off about that. I was like, what kind of person doesn't smoke in a fucking car? Yeah. People that don't smoke. <laughs> Who doesn't well, smoke anymore? Everybody smokes. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, common courtesy dictates that, you know, I allow my guests to do what they please. And if you want to smoke a cigarette, well, yeah. I mean, you got in the car, dude, and you were like, oh, I could take a shit back here and clean my ass. Oh, yeah, because like, yeah, you had to roll toilet paper it. back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I miss in the 70s. Everybody smoked cigarettes. If you didn't have a cigarette, you could bum one off somebody because they're going to have it. And you could smoke in a car. You could smoke in a house. Smoke in a hospital. Smoke in a shopping mall. Smoke in a fucking bar. Smoke in a bar. Not anymore. It, it all, it all became illegal like, around the time when we started smoking cigarettes, like when we were like 17 yeah. shit. Beverly, in the movie, yeah. she smoked wherever she wanted. Yeah, she smoked a lot of cigarettes in this movie. I liked how I liked how they did the whole ritual ritual chud. I mean, yeah. it's, all, it's a little different compared to like, I you know, yeah, because like, you, I forget the word you fucking use, but like the, the psychological factor of the, the movie. Mysticism. Mysticism of it, yeah. It was really like strongly portrayed in this movie, dude. 
Um, them going through the town I thought was really well done. I thought all the, the, the little scares and stuff were good. Um, yeah, Beverly in the fucking going back to her house, dude. Like that, just that fucking that was lady in the background, creepy. dude. That yeah. was scary. That was like, yeah. that was probably like one of the scarier parts of the movie. Cause I, and, what, and, did, what kind of scares did Ben have? Ben didn't really have any scary Well, he didn't. Stuff, did technically, he? he just had the it reminiscent, was, like, it was we, just we when he was in the, Oh, when the chick had a flame, her fire, head was on fire. Yeah. yeah. But I like, I like, cool, I, actually. dude, like, <laughs> when, 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 when adult first... Ben didn't have to deal with shit, though. Yeah, what a no. fucking, what a fucking, no, he, no, he was hot. <laughs> but, oh, uh, but when, but when they were fucking showing the very beginning of Ben's fucking memory or whatever, and fucking Beverly was right there, like, you know, lights up that cigarette, like, you know, they kind of shit, shit. And then fucking <laughs> Ben, like, tries to go over to kiss her. They were like, ah, oh my god. Why would I kiss a fat fuck like you or something to that extent? And then you know like, fucking, oh God. You know how many fucking women have told me I was fat fucking piece of shit, disgusting and gross and shit like that? I've had like three or four women in the past six years. <laughs> You're such a fucking piece of shit, disgusting piece You're of like, shit. Like, I really oh. felt, I felt that part. <laughs> like, yeah, I was, I was like, that's kind of a, well, that's a, that's a, I've, I've, I've been through that. There, yeah, there's emotion there. there. Just not the kind I want. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can, I, it's just, again, you know, Pennywise going after, like, your your deepest, like, psychological fear. Yep. I mean, that's, like, I was a big thing within the book, and the fucking, that first film didn't even touch. Like, that was never even touched upon. Again, dude, it's like, they were making fun of, like, themselves for the first one, it felt like, you know? It's like, that the whole purpose of this was to make up for, you know, just to do it right, part yeah. two. No, I think, yeah, because I think yeah. everybody would voice their criticisms of this, like, well, well this isn't what I want. Yeah. And so they gave us what we wanted. And I, was... Yeah. As a fan of that book, dude, for as many times as I've read that story and like have like fallen in love with that story, dude, like I've, it's like a major part of my childhood, dude, was reading that book. Well, yeah, I was watching that tonight and I was like, you know, this is kind of important because it's like, these are some of my favorite characters of all time is the Losers Club from Stephen King. I was like, you know, this is pretty cool seeing them, like a new spin on them mm-hmm. and seeing them taken more serious yeah, and it's more mature because you've grown really, up. It's it not a, a fucking little kid movie. story. Yeah. Right. Now you can take the first one and show it to little kids and be like, oh, that's funny. And then you show this one and go, oh. There was a lot of little kids in the, the audience. Did you see that shit? Well, oh, yeah. Well, I was I mean, like, what the fuck are you thinking, you fucking dum-dums? <laughs> you fucking dum-dums? Not only that, but there were... Uh, fuck, I like went back and forth like two times. I, there was like people going back and forth like all the goddamn well, time. Well, the reason was is because like when you got the soda, they are like, hey, you get a free refill on the soda. I didn't refill my soda. I didn't refill mine either. I didn't yeah. give a fuck. I didn't, but I, just, I think it was a lot of people going back to the snack bar. Yeah, because they can't fucking afford it because it's fucking sunny side. Well, shit, they charge you like a shit ton of money for shit, that. Shit, it was like and... 20 bucks for a fucking, I mean, yeah. I spent, I spent fucking, when I, I came there with nine bucks, mm-hmm. I got a big giant slushy. Yeah. I know it was like eight bucks oh, yeah, for shit. a meat. Speaking of money, it was I... like there was not even like a like a difference in terms of like it was like seven dollars for a small, eight dollars for a medium, nine dollars for a fucking large popcorn. So it's like at that point, okay, the whole dollar difference, like maybe we should. Like, I was like, fuck, dude, that's expensive as fuck, dude. Are you okay, was that enough? Yeah, that's cool, man. Cheap ass fucking ticket stuff. Dustin too. paying off his fucking. I paid off my bill. Paying Kevin. off his debt. Yep. Well, it was, a, it was a fucking awesome day today. Like I said, you know, even though, like, I waited too long to buy fucking tickets, I should have bought it this morning, but I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'll just buy it in person. <laughs> Avoid the service fee. And then, like, I walk up, and the lady's all like, fucking, oh, we're sold out. And I'm just like, I'm like, really? Really? And I kind of, ma- I didn't make a scene on purpose, but I was just kind of like, ah, fuck. I was like, damn. I was fuck, just, fuck, fuck. I was more pissed off at myself, you know. And then, like, so I tried buying them online because they still showed it on the website. And, and, fucking and it didn't go through. It didn't go through. And then it was like, oh, yeah, sunny side. She was fucking so. powdering your fist on the counter. Like, you fucking cunt. <laughs> I'm afraid of you, sir. I'm afraid of you. Call oh, the fucking police. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I fucking shit your popcorn. Fuck you, Mercy. <laughs> I'll put chocolate on that popcorn. You want the fucking fudge? <laughs> you piece of shit. I could add a little bit of butter. A little wet butter on that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, I've never been to the Sunnyside movie theater before. And I thought, oh, yeah, it's pretty big and nice. Yeah, it was like, they have like 12 fucking screens in there, dude. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a good movie. And I don't know, I liked it. I like what it was about. I liked it. it. Was about. it yeah, was like, I liked it. It was just about like, kind of. They didn't fuck it up. Exploring your life <laughs> and trying to like, round everything out and get closure on trauma. And like, fixing mistakes and doing things different. 
And not, not, not lying to your little brother because you don't want to fucking play outside in the rain. Let that little motherfucker get eaten. Oh, yeah. Fucking Billy's, like, fucking choking his little brother, like, trying to drown his ass. I was laughing my ass off. I was <laughs> like, like oh, in the book. <laughs> I was just like, whoa, he's fucking killing the kid. Whoa, I probably well, should that, be laughing I mean, that, that was pretty symbolic, though. I mean, those were those were heavy scenes, really, like, when yeah. you break it down. Like, yep. those were really, like, killing your fucking past, dude. Like, you're destroying your... Yeah. Literally well, so... destroying your past, you know? Yeah. Like... To move on and like emotionally move on in your life, it's like it was a really deep movie. It was a really deep fucking movie. And Richie playing Street Fighter. I call yeah they had Mortal Kombat <laughs> out there like when they came and did the photo oh, I was like Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat wasn't out in eighty nine. No, they they suggested that they hung out a lot longer than what. I knew there was, was Street left. Fighter two. Well, the well they weren't playing for Street Fighter two. They're just well, the first one. Street Fighter was not. Okay, so the Street Fighter that was in that film was uh-huh. was portrayed as Street Fighter Two. Street yeah. Fighter, the original, wasn't even a fighter. I thought game. that was the they nope. showed the original. Nope. Well, oh. it just, they just took out the two. Uh, yeah. Because the original Street Fighter was like an yeah. adventure game, believe it or not. No, that's like t- yeah. Street Dustin's Fighter. right. Yeah. The, so the game they were playing was Street Fighter Two. They just Street Fighter because Street Fighter One is not yeah, it's not a fighting game. It's, is it like twenty forty or something. No, that's a different one. Okay. That's a sequel to the original. I'm fucking confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused too now. I'm... That's why we just got to Google. Watch Angry Video Game Nerd. Yeah, yeah. Game. If you watch Angry Video Game, he'll explain it. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, man. I don't know. Final I, thoughts, guys. I don't. Know, I was glad Ben got the girl at the end instead of fucking Bill. Yeah. In the book, Bill fucks Beverly, but then she still goes with Ben. Yeah. Fucking hoe. And then during the gangbang, <laughs> she likes Bill's cock the best, but Ben has the biggest cock. <laughs> So that's why that fucking whore cunt. My women always tell me, it's like, you know what, Brandon? It's not about the cock. Well, then why does she fucking go with fucking Ben at the end of the fucking book? He's got the biggest dick. And we know that Ben in the movie had the smallest dick. And Mike had the biggest dick. Bitch. B-I-H. Whore. I think the ending would have been great if they really would have just bang all three of those fucking guys back. You know, I was house. expecting that. I was expecting because you can't do the kitty gangbang. You can't do the kitty gangbang, but you can do the adult gangbang. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking Eddie sits there and goes, ah, fucking comes in like three seconds. Like, ah, shit's tight. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, if you think about it, everybody would win because Richie and Eddie would just be fucking somewhere, and then fucking the three would be on fucking Bev. So you know, she's got a mouth and an asshole and a fucking vagina. So yeah, had that fucking had that big black cock just bored out. It stands dead, so he, so no one gives a fuck. About it stands bored out. <laughs> <laughs> this big gaping <laughs> butt. <laughs> to gape that ass, Bev. <laughs> like I'm ready. I'm fucking used to it. I'm a fucking whore. I fuck all sorts of guys. <laughs> Plus fucking, my rapist husband fucking just fists my ass all the time. It's fucking. And then fucking uh, Bev and Eddie fucking go ass to ass, <laughs> ass to ass. <laughs> Give and us a like, show. I don't know, dude. I, I know you're making fun of it and shit, but dude, I really like. I really off. like that, dude. I I don't know, man. That whole fucking storyline with Richie being gay. I really enjoyed that. I thought yeah. that was really fucking good. Oh yeah. You know, like I don't know. It was good. Oh yeah. It was a good movie. Yeah. No, good I liked movie. it. Like I said, like whenever it comes out, like on physical media, or whatever, yeah. I'll buy it. I, th- I I think I wouldn't mind going and seeing it again. You know. That's three yeah, hours. I don't know. I took my mom because we went and saw. It's kind of weird that you know recording this today and shit because like you posted on Facebook today. It was literally two years ago we went and saw the original, the, yep. the first one on the really because it released the same day apparently. Yeah. Um. Two years apart. Two years apart. So yeah, we uh we fucking saw it two years exactly to the day. But then I went and saw that one twice. I took my mom to go see because my mom you know like was a big Stephen. The reason I was into Stephen King was because of my mom. So like. Yeah, I took her to see. I'll probably t- be like, "Hey, you want to go see it, part two? I'll go see it again." Fuck yeah! Right on. Take so, her on a uh, fucking Tuesday or some shit. I know, dude. Fucking five fifty movies at Sunnyside, dude. That's what's up, dude. Tuesdays. That's why Sunnyside rocks. Let's go, I'm gonna move to Sunnyside now. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna move to Sunnyside. All right. I ain't gonna fucking move there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, ends the uh, bonus edition of In the Mouth of Madness. Um, final words, guys. Final words. I don't know. I think this one is pretty. I think we've... it's worth it. If you haven't, well. Hopefully we've seen it already. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I was gonna say if you haven't seen it, go oh, we talked about it at the, the beginning, dude. We were like, "Hey, fuck yeah. you, fucking spoilers, bitch!" Yeah. You can't yeah, if you haven't I'm seen used to doing those other episodes. Where like, the fucking movie is. I mean, yeah. all right. So here's the movie. At the beginning, 
They uh, get the phone calls. They go to dairy. They go to this Chinese restaurant, and a weird shit happens. Eyeballs come out, and the fucking things come out and go babies. And then they go, and then they fucking said we're gonna leave. And then Mike's like, "Don't leave." And then he gives Bill drugs. And Bill starts tripping out and sees the fucking it flying through the coming out of the sky in the meteor. And then he has this lamp shades like, "Oh, we're gonna trap it." Well, that was what I liked, thing. dude. And then he house, fucking yeah, 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 and then yeah, they yeah, go to the clubhouse, and then they start like coming back together and exploring their past. And they split up and go to each little thing, and then this yep. other stuff happens, and yep. you hear the rest of it. And at the end, they fucking win, and they have sex with each other. <laughs> they, they have, have sex, sex with each other, <laughs> and then they have kitty gangbang as adults. Well, that's with little kids. That could be the alternate. Like Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that pretty would much be, that's the movie. Yeah, that would be pretty that's fucking it. hilarious if Jerry Sandusky was like, "Hey guys, <laughs> you great me, you motherfucker!" <laughs> Stomp his ass out. Shit. And it was Ben. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, fucking Brandon Allen, Kevin Porter, Dustin Byrne. See you guys next time. Sandusky. Sandusky. <laughs>